hi guys uh, this is Lakshman welcome back to our YouTube channel in this video I'm going to talk about uh, one of my colleague has recently attended uh, with uh, a value labs company as a selenium automation tester so he has having a three years of experience so he shared his experience with me and uh, I plan to upload uh, his experience uh, to all you guys so uh, this video may helpful for you all so the entry process happens uh, the first round will be face to face technical round the in that round he used to ask uh, core java test ng and jenkins and sql so let us see one by one so the first question uh, he has asked can we override private method in java the answer is no a private method cannot be overridden since it is not visible from any other class the second question is how to use constructor in selenium web driver his meaning is where we are using constructor in selenium web driver in the phase object model design pattern once you design the pym pattern you will be using the web driver interface object driver multiple time for passing the same driver object to the different phase factory classes at that time you will be creating the web driver interface one time and using it at every class in the form of constructor by passing the driver in the constructor the next question is so not only uh, this answer you you can tell anyone uh, any scenario where we are using constructors in your project okay so it is one of the uh, scenario where we are applying the uh, constructor in POM design pattern. You can tell any other scenarios as well, okay, where we are using constructor. The uh, next question is uh, what is the difference between linked list and uh, array list? And uh, you must be prepared with example as well. This question. So he expected the uh, answer with example. So you will be prepared with example, okay. So don't take uh, it, it is my recommended, it is my suggestion. Don't take the examples uh, from basic examples you just choose the examples from your related uh, related your current project okay don't uh, pick the uh, examples which are basic basic examples like student employee like that okay you have to choose the um, examples from your related uh, project only okay so it may be impress the uh, interviewer okay so now let us see the difference between linked list and array list so the array list is the best choice if you are, if our frequent operation is retrieval whereas linked list is worst choice so whenever you are retrieving the data from any database then the best choice is array list only so in case of uh, if our frequent operation is insertion or deletion in any database then array list is worst choice because uh, there are several shift operations are required internally so you have to move from one location to another location in the internally if you are using array list so that is the reason in performance we use performance wise array list is worst choice if our frequent operation is insertion or deletion in the middle okay so whereas linked list is the best choice if our operation frequent operation is insertion or deletion so you can give a few more examples as well okay so based on your time okay the next question is so what is the use of pros keyword and for this question also you must be prepared uh, one example okay related to your project so throws keyword is used to declare an exception it gives an information to the programmer there may occur an exception so it is better for the programmer to provide the exception handling code so that normal flow can be maintained that meaning is it provides the information to the caller of the method about an exception okay so be prepared with one example the next question is how to reverse each word in string so so uh, please observe the guys please be prepared for basic java programs at least 10 to 15 programs because they must accept they should be check your programming skills in technical round so for that you need to be prepared 
uh, in each and every program okay particularly in string concept string and uh, pattern programs uh, you must be expected from technical ground okay and then so he asked uh, how what is the output of this code so he has the given scenario like this and you must be uh, tell the output in better way the next question is how to launch a browser so this is one of the frequently asked for entry question for experience as well pressure candidate as well so we must be prepared uh, with example uh, to this question the next question is how do you restrict your class from being used by your client so this is one of the tricky questions how you are uh, restricting your class from anyone else you should not access your class then how you can do that so to do that we are using private keyword if you are using private keyword with class then anyone no one can uh, access your class okay and then question is what is difference between string and string buffer so this is also one of the uh, famous entry questions you can expect so the main difference between string and string buffer is string is there immutable while string buffer is mutable what is the meaning of mutable mutable means you can modify a string buffer object once you created it without creating any new object okay so you can give a few more um, differences as well uh, one more example is a string buffer has a reverse method whereas string is not a reverse method okay and uh, another question is how to run same test cases in multiple browsers this is also one of fake most and frequently asked entry question for experience guys don't be uh, go with theoretical knowledge be practical knowledge if you are attending as an experience guy so be prepared with examples so to do that this answer is uh, if in test in the xml file you have to write the call like uh, uh, shoot name and test shoot thread count and parallel this is the very important part uh, parallel methods if you are declaring here classes different cl classes will execute parallelly if you are declaring methods different methods uh, same test case will execute in parallel in multiple browsers okay the next question is what are the annotations used in test ng so there are different types of annotations are there in test ng uh, like uh, pre annotations and uh, post annotations the pre annotations means uh, before executing test cases like a before method before sure before class and after executing test cases uh, there are some annotations are there after class after uh, method after shoot okay so you have to be prepare those things also and next question is how to verify check box must be prepared uh, with code with example for this question next question is what are the different types of weights in selenium so this is one of the frequent and famous entry question for experience selenium testers so how many types of weights are there so there are uh, two different types of there implicit weight and explicit weight and you must be uh, well prepared for this question difference between implicit and and explicit weight with example so he may ask to write uh, code as well okay so you should be prepared that one also and where we use javascript in selenium so this is also one of the tricky question so i will explain in different uh, several scenario where we are applying javascript in selenium so in general we do click on element using click method in selenium sometimes web controls do not react well against the selenium command and we may face issues with the click method so to overcome such kind of situation we use javascript execute interface so that is one scenario and second scenario is to type a text in selenium web driver without using send this method as well we are using javascript executor interface so be prepared with example guys don't forget that one and third scenario is to handle checkbox and fourth one is to generate alert pop-up window box okay the next question is write a java code for diamond pattern so i already explained about this uh, about uh, java programs so Interviewer want to check your programming skills whether you are uh, strong in uh, programming skills or not. So be prepared for basic Java programs as well as uh, pattern programs, number pattern and uh, some star pattern programs. Okay. The next question is how to convert string into integer. So you want to check your skills, programming skills, coding skills. 
So you must be prepared this answer also. How to convert string into integer? So there are different ways to convert uh, a string into integers using the value of method and uh, using pass int method. So these methods are available in the integer class. So be prepared this one. I have already uh, made uploaded video about this uh, uh, concept how to convert a string into integer. So please check it out in my YouTube channel. <coughs> Sorry. So next question is how many ways we can add two strings? So there are different ways we can add two strings by using uh, concat method. So concat method concatenates the specified string into the uh, end of the current string. So it adds the string in the end of the string only by using concat method. The another way is using string buffer and string builder classes. Okay, you can use you can add two strings by using string buffer and the string builder classes here. See here example. So we are creating the object for string builder and we are passing the string and concatenating two strings by using append method. Okay, finally we get the output by by after concatenating the two strings. So finally he asked uh, to check about your database skills as well. How or what uh, how much experience you have SQL concepts. So if you said yes, then he may ask you about the joins concept, uh, DML commands. Okay, so these two concepts you have to focus on one joins and uh, and DML commands. Okay, the next question is how to schedule to execute test cases in Jenkins. That means how to set up your job by using Jenkins. Okay, so you must be prepared that step by step you have to write the uh, explanation about uh, in the step by step you just to be be prepared uh, how you are scheduling the uh, test cases in Jenkins okay and what are the advantages of Jenkins how we are using Jenkins with Maven concept so so believe guys be prepared core Java test ng POM and Maven concepts so these are the most important concepts for a linear autonomous test engineer he may expect in any technical interview so please guys follow my youtube channel and i will upload continually upload uh, with the latest technical interviews so thank you for watching